What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Today we've got Invasion of Naboo Free Play, which happens to be Episode 1, Chapter 2 of our collectible hunting. As you can see here, we're going to get all 10 of those mini kits, get the remaining gold bricks that we didn't get for completing the story. We're also going to get that Poo Money Red Brick and we're going to shoot for that 52,000 stud requirement for the true Jedi. Now it may be 51k, however, I get a blue stud with 5,800. You'll see. You'll see. Hey, uh, quick reminder, make sure you check out our preparing for free play video where we show you our favorite level to farm studs, which might look familiar to this one, as well as where to get the characters you need and how much they cost and all that stuff as well. Now, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell as well. There's an echo in here. Anyways, uh, as we start things off, we notice that there is a mini kit label already on screen indicating that we're going to go ahead and get right to the business. So head over to the far right side with somebody that has the Jedi powers that allow you to stack these rocks up on top of each other. Now, you might notice there is a target in the back. We're going to have to get our pew pew on and ring that. Well, I won't say bell. I won't say it. I won't say oh, wait, I did say it. Uh, all right make sure you shoot that target and go ahead and hop up onto the stacked rocks and go ahead and jump up with somebody like jar jar who gets that double jumpage and gets oh so high all right as we keep on keeping on we find ourselves being attacked by some roger rogers and we take them down and we lift up this tree which if you give it the old ground pound there jump jump and attack it should smash it down give us a bunch of studs as well as a mini kit floating around too so uh, you might need somebody like Jar Jar to get up there and get it, but uh, double jumping with the Jedi should get you there too. Now, as we make our way back, we've got this broke down ship here. We've got a bunch of more droids coming out to get us, and they are done did. We're going to use the force one more time to heat up this engine. It's going to go kaplooey, and we're going to switch on over to Jar Jar, hop up on the back left side, and watch this. We've got another mini kit added to our list, but wait! There's more! You don't want to go too far, you want to actually take out the remnants of the ship, and you can do that by jump, jump, and attack. That should do the ground pound, and remove all bricks, preventing you from that lower access area. Once you grab that, we're going to keep on keeping on, and on the hard left side, you might notice some flowers just short of the steps here. It is, I believe, the final two that give us the bits that we really need. What is that, part of a bike? Looks like uh, part of an old BMX bike or something. I don't see ET around... And uh, I don't know about you, but I don't... <laughs> anyway, moving on. We're going to go ahead and use the bits that we found in the far left side right below the stairs to go ahead and build up that little jump spot there. We can use Jar Jar to get up and get mini kit number five. All right, we do have a little bit of a gap before we get our next collectible. So this is a quick reminder that we do have quick links down below in the video description. And also that uh, all cutscenes and stuffs have been removed. And if you noticed, it might have been sped up just ever so slightly. I, I, and I do mean ever so slightly. Here's that moment of truth that I was talking about a few minutes ago at the beginning in the menu. <laughs> Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Realistically, we are talking about the stud count here. You can see I'm just shy of 52,000 or 50,000, I jump up, I grab a 1,000 stud that happens to be multiplied by two, thanks to our 2x stud multiplier, and I flip over to 52 and get that stud count. Now, quick question for you guys. Now, we're having a little bit of uh, a quandary here. Is it possible that the story mode in this game has a lower or different stud requirement than the free play? Is that, I don't know. Now, uh, did you see that? We used four lomp to go ahead and opens the door, and we went ahead and snatched up that poo money. That's right, we got the poo bricks. You guys remember when Reese did that video for Lord of the Rings? Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love that. The good old days. All right, get up top. We're going to go ahead and smash this statue, which is actually kind of a little hint that we're going to need to uh, rebuild this next one on the other side here. Oh, we're not there yet. Psych! It's actually a ways out. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and drop down here. We've actually avoided that safely a couple of times as we farmed studs and completed the story level. But we're going to grab it this time, so use the force to go ahead and move those stuffs down below, and you should be able to get down there safely, grab that mini kit, and get back on your journey. Now up top, we're going to need somebody so, so small, somebody like Anakin Skywalker. Now the game actually chooses who, which characters you get other than the main one, which we always choose for long, because we want to make sure that we've got all the abilities we need, and he's great at... Uh, uh, like opening all the different bounty hunter types, the different droid types. He has access to pretty much all of the terminals. That That's pretty awesome. Now, he also has access to, uh, what are they, the thermal detonators? The, uh, 
equipment. Is that thermal lighter? Is that the, the grenades that I'm shooting out? I think that's what they are. We'll have to we'll have to get back on that. Or maybe you Star Wars experts can leave me a comment down below in the video description and tell me what they is. They, they're like grenades, basically. And there are silver brick breaker option here and we, we've seen Chewie's got them as well I believe thermal I, I feel like I'm having a brain fart but at the same time I feel like I got it right so <laughs> all right we'll move along here we'll go ahead and make our way to the other side realistically all we're doing here is just simply getting some extra studdage and as you can see we are not really needing any in regards to the true Jedi requirement however we are certainly stacking up studs for everything else. We got all sorts of characters to purchase. We also have a bunch of red bricks that we're gonna find that we're gonna wanna open and unlock. And that costs monies or studs in this case. So make sure you stack up as many as possible. And now we are officially out of here. All right, on the other side, we find ourselves a power orb, which gives us the attract studs ability as well as invincibility. And I've been told it's got a two X as well. So I don't know if we're getting four times right now or if it's just simply keeping us at the two. But drop down and you might notice some droids guarding this little cave here. We're going to go ahead and use the force to remove the blocks preventing our pathway and get inside and grab minikit number nine. Now we are almost out of here, but we need somebody with the super hop. So switch on over to Jar Jar because me thinks we got the hopsas. And once we get up here, we'll go ahead and make our way to the far right side following the stud trail. And it stops right on one of these little rocks that actually drops. And hey, uh, remember a little bit ago when I was talking about that uh, little statue that was uh, kind of leading the way? Well, here we are. This is the statue I was talking about. You're going to want to put the feet down first. But there's a bunch of guys coming to attack you, so you might want to thwart those enemies first. Now go ahead and put the feet down, then the body, and of course the head. And once you stack them up correctly, booyaka show! That's going to give us 10 of 10 on the minikit factor, and it should take us away. Well, actually, we got to go get this last blue stud and head to the water. We're going for a quick swim. Ah, no cutscenes. How glorious. Poo money studs, or psych, poo money red brick unlocked. And we also got that true Jedi, which was 52,000. Hey, don't forget to click that like button, not only here, but on Facebook every Friday. We do have that giveaway over there, and you deserve it. You deserve an opportunity at winning. So head over there and click that button. Smash it. Go. Now. What are you waiting for? All right, we stacked up all 10 of these mini kits in one swoop here, and it is some sort of a, I don't know what that is. You guys are you guys are the experts. I don't want to try and fail because you all make fun of me. So, uh, hey, we stacked up. We got 450,000 studs, and we got 43 of the, wait, 43? Yeah, 43 of the 160. I was waiting for one more to pop up, but we got to head back to the pom, 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 pom. But that's going to wrap it up, though, for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, Episode 1, Chapter 2, Escape from Naboo Free Play. Head on over to any of our social media pages if you haven't already, and of course, HappyThumbsGaming.com is available for your viewing pleasure, too. But as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time...